Hey, deserving listeners, it's time to continue our journey with Colt and Larissa. Let's get to the show. We saw one bedroom loft that was amazing. One bedroom loft? Yeah. Apartment or house? Uh, loft, apartment. Apartment, condo. Wow. I did not know what they were up to today. They said they were leaving. I said, okay, goodbye, see you. Now I found out they're out looking at places to rent. Where would you go, though? If you guys moved into a loft, I would find a senior place to move. All right, so that's good. She's saying if you guys move out, then I would find a senior place to live. That's great. Senior places can be fantastic. I used to actually work as a security guard in a senior place. And senior actually qualify 55 and older, which um, I'm al- I almost qualify for. So, <laughs> And I don't know. It would be kind of nice. You, you have all these friends and activities and stuff. <laughs> so it can be great. Now, they can be horrible, but I think, you know, most of the time they can be great. Actually, from what I understand, there's a lot of dating that happens <laughs> and uh, propagation of STIs through <laughs> – <laughs> these places as well because you know sex drives don't usually end at 55 but anyway so she is saying that now what i would hope is that colt and debbie can have a talk about what their relationship is going to look like what i've what i've seen is that they haven't really had that conversation what i'd hope for is that colt would say okay mom you know you and i we've We've really been there for each other through a lot of good times and bad times. But I'm moving on in life, and I'm worried about you. I, st- I still want to see you all the time, but I don't want to live with you anymore. And Larissa doesn't want to live with you anymore. Uh, she loves you, but she wants, you know, we're going to build our own family together. And, and I want to see you a lot, but I'm really worried about you. And so where you live... I want to make sure you're okay, and I want to make sure that you have friends and you have other people. I will still be there in your life. Make no doubt about it, not only because I want to please you because you're my mother and I love you, but I need you in my life. Okay, so if we had that kind of conversation, I wonder if the mom would be like, oh, okay, and have an easier time with this transition. As it is, it doesn't look like they ha- they've had that conversation and that reassurance. And the mom, I think she's trying to be strong right now. And she's like, okay, well, if you move out, then I guess I'll find a senior center to live in. But I think she, you know, given how she has that vulnerability and that fragility, I think she could easily fall into that. And then I think Colt's going to feel bad for his mom. And then Larissa is going to get upset at Colt for having feelings and you know have, being wishy-washy with his mom. And I don't know. Maybe they won't go that way, but let's watch. You don't have to feel like you're tied down to taking care of me or living with me. I'm fine moving on. I think it's going to feel more comfortable. me moving out. It makes me really sad. I mean, we've lived together for 33 years. So, you know, it, it's difficult. So uh, Yeah, makes total sense. A- every parent can relate to that. Now, some people will be like, well, he's 33. I mean, come on. Okay. In, in your world, that makes sense to you. And maybe for the two of them, it could have been, maybe this was a limiting factor. And maybe you know other data in the future that uh, points to the fact that the mom really did hinder his development such that he wasn't able to break free of her or something like this. But at the, at the baseline for all parents, when their children move out at whatever age that is, it's a loss. It's sad, you know, for when you have kids, they're always a sweet little kid to you. They're never really an adult to you. (laughs) You never really think of them as a full-fledged adult. You always have that instinct to take care of them and to be with them and to want to know what they're doing. And that's a sign of a good parent. So I'm certainly not going to criticize that. So I don't know. I uh, this conversation seems to be going okay. I, I think the mom, she's trying to be tough. She's like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll adjust. Everything will be okay. But now Colt is having the problem. It looks like he's just like, oh, this pains me. And if I feel like he can't communicate that because Larissa has criticized Colt so much for it. Because there wouldn't be anything wrong with Colt saying like, okay, mom, I'm, gr- I'm, I'm glad that you're being flexible to this. But I just want to tell you that this tears me apart too. I think this is the right choice. 
And we'll see how things move, you know, as we move forward with this choice of me living with Ladisa and you moving to a senior center. But I just have to say, tell you, like, this this brings up a lot of feelings for me. I'm, I'm really sad about not living with you anymore and not having you there every morning. You, you've been such a, a wonderful mom, especially after dad died. It, you know, it was, eh, it's going to be really hard for me too. There, but I feel like because Ladisa has criticized him and not been understanding and compassionate to him, he can't express those feelings right now. Now, what happens to him as he can't express those feelings? Let's watch. I'll have to see what happens. I mean, ideal situation probably would be having you live close to us or next door, you know, maybe like an apartment or something or a bigger house. I don't want to live with go to mother and I don't want to live in next door. It's time until he cut the umbilical cord. All right, so this is not so great because Colt just said in a perfect world, he'd still live with mom. So it sounds as though Colt doesn't want to live apart from the mom. The mom has stated that she will move on. She'll figure out a place to live. She'll make it work. doesn't sound like she wants to, but she'll make it work. And then Colt says, well, in a perfect world, you live next door or you'd live in a house with us that was a bigger house. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. P plenty of people are like that. Plenty of you probably live with your parents and you're married. Or you're, you live with your kids and they're married. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem here is that Larissa doesn't want to do that and Colt does want to do that. They should have talked about that before they got engaged. That is a major decision. It's on the level of do you want to have kids or not? You know, the Ed and Rose situation. Rose wanted to have kids and Ed did not. And Ed didn't tell her, lied by omission, until way late in the game. And then Rose said, I'm out. You know, it was the last straw. But these are the sorts of details that you don't want to not work out before deciding to get engaged. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. But, you know, maybe it'll work out. Decide what's right at the right time. Before the 90 days are over, I hope Larissa and my mother could be friends and that Larissa will come around about my mother living with us. But maybe I do need to send my mother away to live on her own. I'm not sure. So this is troubling because Colt doesn't seem to have a rational approach to the situation. He is saying... I hope that Larissa and my mom get along better and that Larissa eventually is cool with mom living with us. I don't think that's ever going to happen, buddy. <laughs> I don't see any evidence of that ever happening. So he's hoping for something that doesn't seem likely to happen. So instead of trying to figure out a way to differentiate there of just like, okay, well, what do I do here? Letty says 100% sure she does not want me living with mom. I'm actually kind of open to living with mom. Mom's opening to living with us. So what do we do here? You know, how do I figure out how to... He seems to be heading down a road of, well, I'll eventually convince Ladisa that mom living with me is okay. I just can't imagine that working. What would I hope from him? What I'd hope for him to be like would be, when Larissa came to the United States, I thought I'd be able to convince her, and I guess I hadn't really thought through it all, that I'd be able to convince her that living with my mom would be a good idea. But it doesn't seem like that's working out. So now I have to either choose to call off the wedding and say, let bygones be bygones, because I want to always live with my mom, or I have to figure out some other way of figuring out my relationship with my mom that... Maybe I can live with my mom not living with us. Maybe mom can live across town and we can see each other uh, often, but she doesn't live with us. Maybe that would work. I, you know, I wonder if that were. I'm beginning to wonder if for Colt, given that the, the mom seems more open to the change than he does, honestly. And so I wonder if for him, his traumas run much deeper than I have been speculating thus far. That his attachment difficulties are severe. And the loss of his father, I just wonder if there's something really stuck for him of just like, I must, 
live with my mom. I don't want to live with my mom, but I must live with my mom. If I don't live with my mom, then lots of bad emotional things are going to happen for me. I, I wonder if that's what's happening. We're, start, we're starting to get some, some uh, indication of that. And I'm actually kind of uh, kicking myself for not thinking about that earlier because <laughs> it seems quite obvious as a working hypothesis for us to look at as we move forward. So maybe we'll get some data along those lines. Yeah, I mean, you really see Colt is the one suffering right now. It's not Larissa or Debbie. Colt is the one going, I don't know if I can live without my mom. I don't know if that's possible. That's very upsetting and scary or something for him. And I'd want to know where that trauma comes from. What is behind that? Why does he feel that way? That would That's what I would want to know. And if I was Larissa, that's what I would ask him. I'd be like, Colt, what are you feeling right now? I'm your wife. Tell me how you feel. You seem like you're really scared or hurt or something. And if Colt can feel understood, maybe it would create some flexibility for him. All right. Well, that does it for that episode in which we follow Colt and Larissa on 90 Day Fiance. Hashtag 90 Day Fiance. Everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.